Hello and welcome to this Doctor Who live chat with RadioTimes.com. I'm Paul Jones. Uh, I'm Hugh Fullerton. Um, and the reason we're doing this today is twofold. Um, there's been a lot of uh, Doctor Who, new Doctor Who stuff suddenly coming out. Uh, we've had a Comic-Con panel, uh, which Hugh was at. Well, I, I, I wasn't there. It was not, not was at, <laughs> if only. Um, he was at his computer, I was about to say, um, reading and uh, writing all about it. Um, and he also interviewed recently for the Radio Times magazine, um, Jodie Whittaker, um, Bradley Walsh, uh, all, all, all the, uh, the Tossin Toss Toss Cole, Cole Mandip and Gil. Mandip Gill, the whole TARDIS team. The whole gang, and that's all in here. On sale now. On sale now. Um, Shame, shameless plug. Yeah, we'll talk about that a bit more in depth yeah. later because um, the sort of latest thing is obviously this San Diego Comic Con panel. It's been a week where there was a sort of teaser trailer during the World Cup, some new photos, some new interviews, all this stuff. But yeah, uh, yesterday the Doctor Who crew flew over to San Diego and they did this big panel. And they revealed loads of stuff. I mean, the series has been so secretive this year, which is cool. Like, it's kind of more interesting, I think. But they've suddenly dropped a whole lot of information to the extent that we've sort of, it's sort of difficult to know what to cover because there's so much. Like, even before the panel started, they confirmed there's a Doctor Who Christmas special, which yeah. we weren't sure yeah. about. Yeah, which we'd, we'd uh, speculated about, yeah, we thought about. We thought it was likely, but there was... Thought they, it was likely. It was odd that they hadn't said anything, we thought. But then it turns out, and it, I mean, clearly they weren't saving it for a big announcement because they just sort of... Yeah, but then, out. I mean, San Diego Comic Con's pretty big, isn't that it? Is and you kind of, you want to go to a, a, a panel there and, and give people a few things. Exactly, uh, yeah. So I guess they were saving it all up for that. And it's, yeah, it's exciting. It's nice to get all that stuff out there. Mm -hmm. um, kind of what did you glean from the, from the panel and uh, what, what, what are the talking points? Um, I think one of the big talking points is, it's similar to something he actually says in the Radio Times interview we did with him. Uh, Chris Chibnall says, the new Who boss, it's all new. You know, there's not that many returning monsters, if any. Apparently, there's no Daleks. No Daleks. There's two two weeks left to film, and they still haven't got any Daleks in. Yeah. So unless that's a very late yeah, and uh, I, I reckon addition. I think he also said that at the minute they're filming Christmas. I might be wrong, but so in which case, presumably the rest of the series is pretty much done, unless they're not filming. Yeah, and Dalek free. Yeah, a Dalek free series. Yeah, so there's not much of that. There's a lot of new characters. He said, you know, new adventures. It's all. Every episode is standalone, so there's no two yeah. parters, which is not a big surprise. I it's kind think. of a, I guess it's going to be Monster of the Week, New Planet yeah, of the exactly. Week, or, or, or Back in History of the Week. Yeah, and like if they're fairly standalone, you know, it's less, maybe a little less serialised than it's sometimes been in the past. Um, there was a lot of kind of chat about keeping secrets and where they'd all go if they could travel in time and all that sort of right, stuff. Right, yeah, of course, yeah. The, the, the fluffy stuff. The fluffy fun stuff that we all love. Um, but yeah, mainly I'd say it was just the newness of it, and they were still pretty secretive. But one of the big things they did reveal was the new sonic screwdriver. Yes. Um, more like a sonic uh, Stanley knife, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah, you were telling it, me this. It's sort of, you thought it looked It's like kind of curved, and it's silver, and it just looks like she's going to do some box cutting or something, uh, mm. or sc score some, score some uh, cardboard uh, to, to do some kind of DIY. Um, I. I don't love it. I've got to be honest. I think a sonic screwdriver should be uh, sort of neat and straight and kind of uh, it's, it's 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 organic kind of looking, isn't it? To a certain extent, it's it's uh, it's interesting. It's, it's certainly a bit more ergonomic. It's sort of it's much more sci-fi than we've had. It's like a the last it's, it's sort of very generic sci-fi though, isn't it? I, I sort of silver and it's got a crystal and it. I don't, I don't know. know. I I, see, I'm quite, I, find, I I I think I disagree slightly because I think it's quite interesting. It looks quite homemade in a funny sort of way like it's it on the toy version that they've sort of put out some better photos of um there it's all pitted metal yeah. like it's clearly quite like battered it looks like something she's welded together herself which we maybe see in the and trailer. we think that maybe that is what's happened yeah. don't we we think that possibly she's uh, separated from the tardis which normally produces the sonic screwdriver for her yeah um and she's kind of maybe welded something together which is pretty cool yeah. and i really like that whether it should be, and if it was like a makeshift one that was she Temporary. just used for a while, I'd be yeah. kind of okay with that. But it's the it's clearly. But it's I don't the main think one. they're going to launch a new Sonic screwdriver and then immediately launch another one. No, no, I suppose that's true. Yeah, no, I, 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 I'm sort of open to it. I'm interested to sort of see what it looks like. It's it's nice, but it's quite. To be honest, I really didn't like Peter Capaldi's last one. It was all right. I didn't love it. I did like the sort of blue bits. Yeah. Um, like I thought it was a bit over worked in some ways and it's clearly this is a 
The last few have been quite sort of steampunky. Yeah, I mean the classic, the, the Matt Smith's eleventh. That's that's, that's, really the, that's the good one, isn't that it? Is For me, really that's good. the that's the standard. It's reassuringly chunky. I exactly, like yeah. um, and it's got a green light, which I don't know why I like a green light. Yeah, and yeah it has that green. steampunk thing, like you say. I think that is the sonic screwdriver of recent years that all others should be measured by, probably. I think you're probably right. I um I quite like that this one's got the orange light. I think that's a bit different. I mean, you kind of. I mean, it, it's sort of hard because I'm sure there's been a sonic screwdriver that has had all different colours at some point in the yeah, show's history. Yeah. But orange is fairly new to the new series anyway. Mm. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see it. I mean, it's hard to say these things. I mean, to be honest, it's one of those things where once you've seen that, you're also like, I want to see the TARDIS, you know, I want to yeah. see the monsters. Yeah. And at the moment, we're just sort of having to do with this. But yeah, I'm... I'm intrigued. I, I, I quite liked it. Okay, cool. No, fair enough. Well, it's, yeah. it's going split, to split opinion. I think or maybe it will. it'll just split opinion between me and everyone else. Yeah, yeah. Just, um, yeah. Which, which is I, fine I can, too. I, no, I, can, I totally see your point though. Like, it is much more sort of like something you'd see on Star Trek or something. Like it, it just, I suppose it's like, it doesn't feel massively Doctor Who to me. It mm. feels like a sci-fi thing. And there's like, there's just two or three things in Doctor Who that m kind of make it Doctor Who and they are the TARDIS mm. and the sonic screwdriver looking like the sonic screwdriver. Mm. Um, it hasn't always looked different though. <laughs> I, yeah, I know, but, it's, oh, but at the same time, it has always been kind of linear sort of. Yeah. Li yeah, but you know, maybe what I'm saying makes no sense. No, I get what you mean. <laughs> uh, anyway, that was just my impression of it. I, like, I don't hate it. Um, but yeah, no, new is good as well. This is, like you say, this is all about new newness. Yeah. Um, and why not experiment with something different? Maybe I'll grow to love it. Yeah. And that newness, like we said, that was kind of on show throughout the panel. Um, but the sort of other big sort of takeaway from it was that there was a new trailer. Like, like I mentioned earlier, there was a teaser trailer that wasn't footage from the series was uh, released during the World Cup final. And now they've released the first actual yeah. trailer. Um, which is interesting because I kind of thought they might rest on their laurels a bit with the teaser because they've spread stuff out so much this year. Yeah. But I, but, and in a way, it sort of felt like the impact of this one was a little bit less because there'd been something. Yeah, maybe so. Before. Yeah, I, and I did. I, I'm not sure everybody liked the the teaser, but I did like it. I really I liked it. I thought it was teaser. really good. I thought, I thought it, was it was really well done. I thought it was exciting. I thought it was kind of like you know she's coming into these people's lives. She's coming into our lives, mm. and uh, there's a little fist on there. Of, we don't you know don't see anything specific about the show, but I really enjoyed it. Um, the trailer uh, it's interesting enough. Uh, it kicks off. Um, she is clearly going through the sort of uh, regeneration cramps, isn't she? Mm. Sort of that you you know we see David Tennant was confined to bed for a, yeah, for a whole. For a whole day. Yeah. day um, and uh, she, she's kind of uh, <coughs> like kind of having getting some heart palpitations which yeah. must be when you've got two hearts it's gonna be it must be double the palpitations ta double the palpitations yeah um, so that yeah kicks off with that what else happens in the trailer we um, see all the new the new characters again the TARDIS team um, the friends the friends yeah we're not calling them companions anymore they're now friends she's uh, she specifically asked them to be her new best friends yeah which she? it's quite nice quite endearing I do you like that yeah, yeah. I, I, I think I like that yeah the, the thing I thought was interesting is that we still haven't heard any of the companions or TARDIS speak, speak no at all which is interesting because we don't even know what accents they're gonna have yeah um, because they can like naturally Mandip Girl has quite a northern accent and obviously Jodie Whittaker's using her natural northern accent so maybe she will and Tosin Cole's got a London accent Bradley Walsh has a kind of London accent but you know they can't they're all actors they can all kind of move between registers yeah I never I mean, thought of that know. actually I just assumed they'd have their natural accents but. yeah I mean you, who knows I might, I might be overthinking this one point um, other stuff that's interesting in it it's a funny one because there's so many little vignettes but there's mm. you don't see any monsters you don't really get much of a sense of the threats so you see them walking on you know through these sort of deserts that could be a planet could be somewhere it looks like a crashed spaceship somewhere doesn't yeah. there on a planet and then there's another one with uh, Bradley Walsh's character Graham who uh, you can't tell really, but I got the impression for some reason that he's on a, an alien planet totally. and he's got well, a kind he's got of bit little of, uh, metal, sort of weird tech on his face yeah, or something, he does. hasn't he? Yeah. Which is quite interesting. Um, and there's a bit where they seem to be going back to kind of 1950s, 60s. Yeah, which would America. fit in with the rumour that um, there was a Rosa Parks related mm. sort of civil rights uh, episode. Uh, episode, yeah. So um, that may well that'd prove cool. to be true and that would be cool. And that's that sort of back to that thing that was talked about quite early on with Chris Chibnall about the... the you know, going back to the, the kind of educational, historic mm. uh, uh, episodes of, of very early Doctor Who. Yeah. Um, but th obviously with, with aliens and monsters, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, that would be a real downer. <laughs> they were just like, no, it's just history now. Yeah. Um, they just, you know, watch civil rights things. Um, the One of the other big things I thought, um, well, it's not really a big thing, but you see a variation on Jodie Whittaker's costume. 
Yes, you do. She wears a brown t-shirt or burgundy t-shirt instead of yeah. the blue one. Which She's is... obviously decided that the, the stripes are her thing, mm, though. Yeah, they, she keeps She keeps those, doesn't she? Yeah, it, it's interesting to see. Obviously, it seems a bit silly to talk about such sort of minor variations, but the variations and what they are is quite interesting because David Tennant obviously wore that brown suit, but he sometimes he wore it with a t-shirt. Uh, although, I mean, sometimes he wore the blue sh suit with a t-shirt, and then Christopher yeah. just changed his jumper. Peter Capaldi just sort of just suddenly started to freeform, didn't he? Yeah, he, he was, just was just wearing a suit, I and mean, then he was wearing like a hoodie yeah. and like a t-shirt. He always had the suit jacket. Yeah, that was yeah. The... He managed to. That was the thing that managed to keep it Doctor Who just about, didn't it? Mm. Um, but no, uh, I, you know, you've got to mix it up a bit. I mean, totally. basically, you need to wash your clothes at some point. <laughs> That's true. It's um, good to see that the doctor's giving us good uh, hygiene. Yeah, tips. if you if you're uh, you know if you're gonna you're in each regeneration live for several hundred years, I think you need at least one change of clothes. Yeah, at least at some point. You've got to recycle. Yeah. I remember the other big thing actually I wanted to talk about was um, we get a new guest star. Oh yeah. Yeah. So this you is, spotted you spotted this. So. I did. I mean, it's. He seems to have confirmed it now. Um, so in the trailer, you don't see that much but of other characters, but you do see one who seems to be played by Sean Dooley, who you might know from shows like Misfits and Gunpowder and Broadchurch, Broadchurch. which uh, the new Doctor Who head writer, Chris Chibnall, that was his previous show on which he worked with Jodie Whittaker. Um, so it looks like he's brought someone else over from his previous shows. And yeah, Sean Dooley's now tweeted, say, basically saying, I'm in this, or kind of, sharing the trailer and saying, mm, could I be in this? Do you think yeah. we should be looking back to uh, previous uh, Chibnall shows or, or just broad, broad, the Broadchurch cast in general yeah, for, maybe. for other Doctor Who stars? The main issue with that is that pretty much everyone in Broadchurch has already been, been in Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's slim pickings there. He's basically found... Or the, it means, the maybe, it, maybe it means you will be getting uh, uh, Freem Raggiman coming back... Uh, From Law and Order UK. Uh, sorry, that was an, yes, another Chib Chibnall show. But yeah, um, no, you're right. But Broadchurch itself... Uh, it's got um, Arthur Darville, David Tennant. David Tennant. I mean, if Eve he comes, Miles. Um, Olivia Coleman was in an episode of she Doctor was. Who. She uh, was. I can't remember what his name is, but the young journalist in Broadchurch was in an episode of Doctor Who. With Peter yes, Kennedy. he was in the heist one, Time Heist. Time Heist, yeah. Um, Jonathan something. I can't remember his yeah. name. Um, and did you say Phoebe Waller-Bridge? I didn't. She's not been in Doctor Who, though. Not relevant then. No, but maybe That's she why you could say be. it. But yeah. she could, but she she could, could be. be. But she couldn't because she's probably too big now. I think she's she, probably too big. I mean, maybe she'd do a little voice cameo or something, like she did for yeah, yeah. Uh, Star Wars. Anyway, so. we we digress. This is uh, we do digress. Um, so yeah, there's quite a lot to. There's a reasonable amount to pick out of a trailer, but also not too much, which I say is kind of the ideal level at this stage. You Just want right. you want a bit Goldie of a tease. Locks. You want to wander, but um, you kind of don't want too much shown. Oh, the other thing we sort of mentioned this, but it looks like she's forging something in the trailer, which we think is possibly the Yeah, Sonic but that might be the Sonic. Yeah. Might be Sonic, might be something else. We don't know. Um, and she ends it by basically saying, oh, this is going to be fun. Um, hopefully. And hopefully yeah, it will. I think you know. it will. I I'm think feeling it pretty will. positive. I, I get the impression that because this has been such a massive week with so many trailers and pictures and interviews and stuff, things are now going to kind go of quiet for a bit. Quiet down a bit, yeah. Because the series isn't on until officially in the autumn. We don't know when exactly yet. And obviously, we're still a couple of months away from that. So this seems to be a big push in July centered around Comic-Con probably to get stuff out there. So yeah. Keep it in people's minds. Exactly. And then, uh, yeah. But you know what people can do, once it all dies down again, is they can go back what can they to do, Hugh? and pick up this oh, copy yes. of the Radio Times. Yes, because that's got interviews, and you did these interviews, didn't you? Your, I did your, these your interviews. Your very self. I did them myself. With Jodie Whittaker, Tosin Cole, Mandeep Gill, and Chris Chibnall. And, and Bradley, Bradley Walsh. Walsh. I everyone, did. everyone, basically. Not Sean, everyone. not Sean Dooley. Not Sean Dooley. He was... You know, away, sadly. <laughs> I mean, I don't, he wasn't, I didn't know he was involved. Um, yeah, so this was really fun. I went down to Cardiff with uh, a few people from the magazine and some photographers and so on. And yeah, we took some photos of Jodie. And I kind of grabbed her and the companions in the off moments. And um, yeah, we had some nice, had some nice chats. And it was really fun. And they were all really nice. Um, Jody was a real laugh, and yeah, Tosin was very As funny. As you would expect. Mandip Girl was hilarious. Really? Anyway. That's cool. Yeah, That's she was good. so funny. I had to cut down that interview so much because she said so much good stuff, <laughs> but hopefully there'll be a slightly longer version online. Um, yeah, so I, 
I really hope that people who read it like it. And if you haven't read it yet, you know, there's still time. It's still on sale. Yeah, still very much next, on sale. Probably. Next Tuesday, although I, I have heard that it's uh, been difficult in some uh, it? news agents to get hold of. Because well, that's that's because I've gone and bought all the copies. <laughs> <laughs> to, uh, to will you now be in say, selling them at an inflated price? Definitely. Uh, uh, for, for people who really want to, you know, yeah. hit me up. Uh, yeah. No, but it's no. I think it's gone down really well from what I've what I've seen so far, and they're well, really, I'm glad. really good. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, so yeah, if you want to, you know, a lot of the pictures are now kind of out there. But if you want to see them in the magazine. We have some exclusive photos, obviously, from the photo shoot and some bits of interview and facts that you won't have seen yet. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a lot of fun. And hopefully the first of many uh, Doctor Who Radio Times issues. I would think and hope so, yes. Yeah, with Jodie Whittaker. So, yeah, this is her first cover, but it will not be her not last. Not at all. No, no, absolutely. Yeah. Um, anything else you want to add before we sign off? I don't think so, yeah. I, I think, think that's it, isn't it's, it? It's been an exciting week. Um, hopefully there'll be more exciting Doctor Who weeks to come. And I'm sure you'll see us doing one of these again nearer the time of release. Very much after so. After release. Yeah, absolutely. But, yeah, hopefully, yeah, we're all very excited about... The new series of Doctor Who, Jodie Whittaker, the TARDIS team, and Chris Chibnall, and we hope you are too. Yeah, see you next time. See ya.